Paul. Get back now! <laughs> Before the break, he came out and surprised three super fans are now in our front row. Adorable. Uh, you know, he's receiving a ton of buzz, of course. Uh, he's recently in the People magazine as their Sexy Man of the Week. <laughs> Which is good fun. You don't, you, you can't it's, take that seriously, it's, but it's yeah. fun, right? It's, I mean, shirtless, always. You know, always kinda, shirtless. As soon as I got Twilight, Twilight, you know, it's like, all right, don't wear any clothes, just shorts, and you'll be fine. You know? <laughs> so it's good. Yeah, your life is going to change a lot. I mean, I'm sure it already has, but these movies are going to come out in such quick succession. You've already mm -hmm. filmed them. I mean, are, do you think you're ready for that? You're, you're pretty young, 24, yeah? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's what any actor would want, you know, these amazing opportunities. Um, it's coming quick, and I'm just trying to stay grounded. You know, my, my wife and kid, I mean, they help me out a lot to, to be grounded. You're 24, but you, you're, you're very mature, and you, I think it's because you, you do have a wife and child. Your beautiful wife, Kim, yeah. how's she dealing with it? Does she love that you get all this attention, or is she like, yeah, yeah, honey, no, she... keep it in check? <laughs> no, she loves it. I mean, she's a, um, my biggest supporter. Um, actually, it's funny. I told her I was going to be on the show. She's a huge fan of yours. Oh, so she screamed like louder about me being on the show than me getting Twilight. Oh, that's you know? sweet. Yeah, she's like, she has all your cookware, your cookbooks, and uh, <coughs> I, rely, I relied on your food. She's going to get a whole lot more now yeah. than she just complimented me. So I'm going I'm to trip Kim out. Good. Now I'm going to be shouting, Babe, give me that Rachel Ray. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Can I page 47? <laughs> that's right. And you have a little baby, 19 months old. I do, yeah, so mock. It means a uh, beautiful one. In, uh, Somak. Quechua. Somak, yeah. In what language? It's Quechua from Peru. Beautiful. Yeah, and he's, he's beautiful, and, you know, like I said, he has, like, a, just a, a massive head. You know, it's a big head. It looks like a little planet. And when he walks, he looks like he's kind of drunk, and he's, like, trying to balance his, himself, you know? <laughs> How did you pick the name? It's such an unusual, beautiful name. Yeah, well, you know, my background, um, Mexican native, mm -hmm. and um, I wanted to have something within that realm, you know, of, of something different, you know, culturally specific, and... Uh, so I thought that was a good name, strong name. Yeah. Did you and Kim fight over it, or you agreed on it right away? <coughs> uh, we fought over the the middle name. Really? The middle name. I wanted it to be Antinanco, which means uh, um, like it would have been beautiful ascending eagle. Yeah. But she thought Antinanco sounded like aunt and uncle. Oh, you know, it does. So, uh, it does sound like. So an she's uncle. like, no, it sounds stupid. We're not doing it. So that's what we fought about. But eventually, we thought, all right, scratch the middle name. Let's just have Somak and. You know. I, I think she was right. It does sound a little ah, like Auntie Uncle. She's I'm gonna, sorry. She's going to love you even more now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the meaning is lovely, but you don't want him. Auntie Uncle uh, on the playground. I mean, yeah, I guess so. The kids got to go to school, man. Uh, you gotta, you gotta two, two, two against one, I guess, at this point. <laughs> I can't complain. So we were chit-chatting before <laughs> um, about the, the fact that you guys like to step in. You're all young, healthy, good-looking fellas. You like to step in, do some of your stunts. Is that how you stay in shape, though? I know that you're really into dance, too. Yeah. It, was dance a discipline of yours since you were young? Or? It was, yeah. Dance, and I did martial arts a lot. I did, um, oh, my uh, brother's into that, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did Shokan Karate. Um, huge, like, MMA fan, like, cage fighting and things like wow. that. So uh, I, did a, I did a lot of that. I think that's terrific because it really I, it prepared you, literally, for the role of a lifetime, probably. It, I mean, no, it's it, yeah, huge. You're totally right. I mean, Paul, he's volatile. He's, you know, scrappy, and he just carries his weight differently. You know, he's a fighter, so... I thought it was so appropriate with my background and what I've been everything doing. Everything really led into it. Isn't it, it neat how the universe kind of maps itself out like that you're, sometimes? You're so right. I mean, everything was just aligned from the audition process. I mean, it was on my birthday, I went to audition. It was January 10th, yeah. and that was like the biggest um, full moon of the year. How so, you know, weird. Yeah, right? so I saw it big and bright. <laughs> and just and then I had these hawks that were always like circling around me, like, you know, within like the two weeks when I was waiting for It really to was work. meant to be. I, I really do believe that. I mean, I think it was really uh, it's, it's, it's cool. You, of course, the best for them. I'm sure it's going to be a, a global, uh, intergalactic <coughs> huge hit. You know, people on other planets that'll be watching New Moon. Uh, it, of course, hits theaters uh, Friday, November 20th. So I'm sure these three ladies will be first on. Thank you so much, Tish. Great job. Amazing job. Can we have our snack of the day?